A major area of focus is on the mining technique we'll use here, which is called panel caving, a subset of the mining method known as block caving. The animation which follows will show you how the whole process works. The ore body sits 7,000 feet beneath the desert floor and approximately one mile behind an escarpment, or cliff, known as Apache Leap. Here at the Resolution Mine, panel caving is the safest and most productive way to mine this deep, large, low-grade deposit. This will allow us to mine the most ore with the least amount of waste. The idea is very simple. It uses one of nature's strongest forces, gravity, to help extract the ore. In panel caving, we will actually mine from underneath the ore deposit. It's a three-step approach. First, go deep into the earth, break up the rock containing the copper ore, then create hourglass-shaped caverns to funnel the rock downward, and finally, remove it from the bottom. The first phase of the operation is called the undercut. After initial tunnels are created at the bottom of the ore deposit, a series of W-shaped openings are drilled and blasted. As the rock is removed from the undercut, it creates a large void and gravity causes the roof of the opening to collapse. Once a large enough area has collapsed and been removed, the cave will then continue to naturally propagate or spread upwards into the copper ore. Now the ore is ready to be removed. So in the second phase, we go down below the undercut and create a set of horizontal tunnels from which the ore will be extracted. After tunnels are created, vertical holes are drilled from the top of the tunnel into the W-shaped openings. The tunnels are then blasted, which forms the funnel-shaped opening. In the final or production phase, gravity pulls the broken rock resting inside the funnel down through the opening. Automated loaders transfer the ore into trains and then dump the ore into crushers that further reduces the size of the ore fragments. Then the ore is hoisted and conveyed to the surface. Panel caving allows for the mining of very large ore bodies by dividing it into smaller strips or panels so that the ore can be removed in a safer and more efficient manner. Once a panel is depleted, the next adjacent panel is mined. This cycle continues until all the ore is mined. Working more than a mile and a quarter beneath the surface, each and every phase of the operation is carefully monitored. Just one example, engineers will constantly control the speed of the rock coming through the opening in the funnels by controlling how much is removed from each opening. 